horizontal asymptote can be crossed. Now here is an example to show you that. Find the asymptotes and intercepts of the function f of x equals to 3x squared minus 1 over x cubed. The whole idea of this question is that it has horizontal asymptotes and it also has vertical asymptote. And we'll try to analyze whether we can really cross these asymptotes or not, right? So that is what we'll try to analyze with this question. It's a very beautiful example and I'd like you to sketch the graph of this function uh, once you have learned all the techniques of sketching graphs, right? Now, to find horizontal asymptotes and the vertical asymptotes, will apply the methods learned. Now, how do you find the vertical asymptote? To find vertical asymptote, equate denominator to zero, right? So let's first find vertical asymptote for this. Let me write it here itself. So vertical asymptote is x cubed equals to zero, and that means x is equals to zero. So at x equals to zero, we have a vertical asymptote. And that's the equation of our line, correct? Now, what is the horizontal asymptote? To find horizontal asymptote, let's check the degree of numerator and denominator. So degree of numerator is actually lower than degree of denominator. Now since degree of numerator is lower, we do have a horizontal asymptote, correct? And we can write this horizontal asymptote as y equals to zero, right? So simple. Why? Since the degree of numerator is lower than that of denominator, horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. Do you want to check it out? Do like this. We say if x approaches infinity, then x is very large. So we can write f of x will approach, will be approximately equal to 3x square over x cubed, correct? Right? And that is kind of 3 over x, approximately. And if x is very large, then this approach is 0. Does it make sense? It does. Another way to do it is like this. What we can do here is, we can write f of x equals 2. Divide both numerator and denominator by x square. So we get 3 x square over x square minus 1 over x square. And then we have x cube over x square. Now, this simplifies to 3 minus 1 over x square and that is x. Now if I say x is very large, then 1 over x square will be 0, right? So I can write this function f of x as equals to 3 over x. Now x is very large, that means 3 over a large number will mean approaching 0. Do you see that? So either way you can work it out. So I've shown you three strategies to find horizontal asymptote. One, straight from the degree. Numerator degree is less than denominator, horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. Second, by approximation. 3x square is far, far bigger than minus 1, so I can write it approximately as 3x square over x cubed, which simplifies like this. And if x is very large, then 3 over x is approaching 0. And since it is approaching 0, that means f of x is approaching 0, a fixed value, we have a horizontal asymptote, which is y equals to 0. Now the third case, what I did was, I just divided everything by x squared and then found the same answer. Either way. So we have a function here and if I want to draw this function a bit, I'm not drawing the function but just the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote. So what do I get? I get horizontal asymptote as this line and vertical asymptote as the vertical line. Such a simple example. So these are my asymptotes now. So I'm saying y equals to 0 is my horizontal asymptote and x equals to 0 is my vertical asymptote. Perfect. Now the next part of the question is purposely given. Find asymptotes, we have already found, and intercepts of the function. So let's try to figure out, do we have any y-intercept? Can we have any y-intercept? Let's think about y-intercept first. Now, y-intercept means x equals to 0. That means f of 0, right? f of 0 will give you what? 3 times 0 minus 1 over 0 cube. Now, that is not possible, correct? 
that is not possible you cannot div divide by zero correct so it does not exist do you understand most important is whenever you get a function like this then you have to write restrictions so you should always write here denominator cannot be zero so you have to write x is does not x is not equal to zero so x is not equals to zero zero is not in the domain of the function do you understand so here what is the domain of the function domain of the function is that x belongs to real numbers so that x is not equal to zero and since x cannot be equal to zero you can never have a y-intercept now y-intercept in this case is our vertical estimate what I'm trying to say is x not equal to zero is because of vertical asymptote right it is because of vertical asymptote not otherwise now why is this restriction now this restriction is because we have a vertical asymptote do you understand at x equals to zero that is why we have this restriction and vertical asymptote is a line which is being approached the function is never there so it's out of domain so the graph of the function will never cross vertical asymptote right this is kind of important so we say graph of the function can never cross vertical asymptote right so let me put it in bold and highlight it. this is very important but how would x intercept x intercept let's test that out right so for x intercepts now let's do x intercepts what is the condition x intercepts means y is 0 right f of x is 0 that means numerator is 0 that means that we have 3x square minus 1 equals to 0 right then we get x intercepts now if you solve this what do you get you get 3x square equals to 1 and from here we get value of x right x equals to 1 over 3 square root with plus and minus so we get two x intercepts not just one correct two x intercepts one is here and one is there symmetrically and this is square root of 1 over 3 and minus square root of 1 over 3 so there are two x intercepts in our equation not one do you see so that means if you have x intercepts that means what that means you can cross horizontal asymptote correct since our horizontal asymptote is what y equals to zero you're crossing it you have a x intercept do you see that so that is what we're trying to say that horizontal asymptotes do not restrict domain horizontal asymptote is defined at infinity plus or minus do you understand but not in between and therefore you can cross horizontal asymptote so that is that is what we're trying to visualize here then if you really sketch this graph you will find this this graph kind of will cross your x-intercept and then go towards the horizontal asymptote similarly it will be vertical here it will go kind of go upside sorry it is this is the x-intercept so it will cross the x-intercept and kind of go towards the vertical asymptote right and it will approach your horizontal asymptote at the infinity do you understand as x approaches infinity do you understand so that is how the graph of this function is going to look like right so let me now sketch approximately the graph of this function on this side right because that side has become very very cumbersome so we have here a vertical asymptote so that means and we have horizontal asymptote. so we have a horizontal asymptote like this so the the function is approaching zero right as x approaches infinity and but it is kind of like this and that's the vertical asymptote and this is your x intercept same is the case on this side it is approaching right and it's kind of like this so that is the kind of function it is do you understand and these points these points here are your x-intercepts 
you can very clearly see that you have a horizontal asymptote but horizontal asymptote is defined as x is very large right there y equals to 0 and this is your vertical vertical asymptote is all throughout and vertical asymptotes restrict your domain right so this is x equals to 0 vertical asymptote this is y equals to 0 which is crossed at two points for this particular function so remember horizontal asymptotes can be crossed but not the vertical asymptotes since vertical asymptotes those values of x are not in the domain of the function okay i hope you get it absolutely clear now thank you and all the best